All right, Sean, I made it back from Ace Hardware with the supplies you needed, but we're not outside. What's the deal with gutters? Today, what we're gonna do is show you a, a neat little way to add some shelf space using these gutters. We've got a blank wall in a kid's room, and you can see that there's a closet door here. Yeah. Because of the way this door swings, we don't have the space for a full bookshelf. So we're going to use this gutter shelf instead. Today's supplies are pretty simple. You'll need a drill with both a metal and regular drill bit, some gloves, a level, a pencil, some anchors and screws, and of course, Shh. your rain gutters and end caps. Check with your local ace. You may even be able to get them cut to size right there at the store. All right, Sean, let's get started. Let's make some space to work and, and get some of this furniture out of the way. Sounds good, Sean. So Ryan, I brought some gloves today because when you're working with aluminum or any type of metal, uh, there are some rough edges on here that will be covered up by the caps, but until they're covered up, let's put some gloves on. If you're concerned about sharp edges, you can buy a vinyl gutter. I just think the metal looks nicer. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a couple of mounting holes on the back of the gutter. And I have a small drill uh, with a black oxide drill bit, okay? And this is gonna easily go through the aluminum. And it doesn't have to be in any particular place, uh, but I would like to put the hole uh, right about here, about an inch and a half down from the top of the gutter. Okay. Now you see I'm starting out really slow until the drill bit catches the aluminum, and now I can go a little bit faster. Now we have a nice clean hole. We have these ends now, we wanna cover them up. So uh, this is an end cap that they sell at the hardware store. So there are left end caps and right end caps. You have the gloves on, so I'd like you to try putting that end cap on. And then you take the piece with the end cap and you just, just hit the floor with it once or twice. And then now it should be on in, in a secure way. Pretty much bust out our inner caveman. Absolutely, this is uh, the paleo project. So, <laughs> and now that's your shelf. Not too bad for a few minutes worth of work, but here's a safety note. When you're drilling into aluminum, you're gonna get shards. So be sure to clean up well unless you want a nasty metal splinter later on. Now, we're ready to mount the shelves. Let's go ahead and put the shelf on the wall uh, where we think would be a good height for the kids. And we're gonna go ahead and use our level and we're gonna mark the holes that we made with pencil as well. And this is where we're going to install the anchors. Okay, I'm just gonna make a small hole I'm only going in about a quarter of an inch. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and push in our anchor, and now we're going to drill the anchors into the wall. And if we did this correctly, the holes on the gutter shelf are gonna match up with our anchors. Yep. All right, Sean, the shelves are nice and secure. They look great. Why don't we load them up with some books and then put everything back where it belongs? Sounds good. I can't believe these are rain gutters. It was simple to do, it was cheap as well. It was under 20 bucks for all of this. And we have a unique area to put books in the kids' room. All right, thanks a lot, Sean. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna catch up on a little bit of reading. Shh. 